Hey guys, Miss Burns here, and here is the video for the lab equipment notes section of your learning stations. All right, so the first piece of lab equipment you need to know of is the graduated cylinder, and you can see these two different pictures here. Um, it measures volume in milliliters. Next, you have the Erlenmeyer flask. This also, also measures volume in milliliters, but it's not as accurate as a graduated cylinder. In fact, these are better for mixing and holding liquids. Next up is a beaker. This is also used to measure liquids in milliliters. However, it is also not as accurate as a graduated cylinder is. Next up is a digital balance. This measures mass in grams. And then this is a meter stick. You might also know of it as a ruler, okay? Uh, but this particular type of ruler measures distance in centimeters or meters um, or length in meters or centimeters. We will not be using inches um, or feet in science class. All right, next up is uh, safety goggles. These are used to protect your eyes when using any type of chemicals, glassware, or heating something in a lab. Next is an eyedropper. Uh, this is used to move small amounts of liquid between two other containers or to mix reagents. Next up, we have a test tube. This is used for holding, heating, or mixing small amounts of liquids. Next, we have a test tube rack. This is used to just hold test tubes in place because they have those rounded bottoms. Um, they won't stand up straight on their own. They would just fall over and spill or break. Next up is a test tube tong. Um, and this is just like a grabbing device that will hold a test tube while it's being heated because the glass will get hot. So the next sets of slides are going to cover some um, probe sensors, which are used to collect data in real time. So these you generally see on the SOL for an experiment. So the first one that we're going to talk about is a carbon dioxide sensor or probe. And this is just going to measure the amount of carbon dioxide in the air. It usually measures by percent or parts per million. Next up is a dissolved oxygen probe or dissolved oxygen sensor. Um, this measures the amount of dissolved oxygen in a liquid specifically most often used as water. This will also measure in parts per million or percent saturation. Next up, we have an oxygen sensor for just measuring the amount of oxygen in the air. This is a temperature probe and this will measure the temperature of a substance. Sometimes you can stick it in a liquid or you can put it between your hands or measure air temperature or soil temperature. And then last but not least, we have a pH probe. This measures the pH of a solution. So it'll tell us how acidic or how basic a solution is.